your friends by and the topic can be absolutely everything. So twins and jodwas and duplicates. Suddenly it feels like there's a dirt of twins being procreated in India because <laughs> there are no films in which you find jodwas anymore. There's no Gopi Kishan. There are no children saying, hey, mere do do baap, mere do do baap. Angur obviously being the epitome of like duplicates, twins, etc. And <laughs> there, there. So there are also certain things that we do not miss at all. Such as this, Palushai. <laughs> Yesterday I got Palushai to office so that I could spoil it for you guys today. I mean, probably. Yeah. Yeah. So Indian masculinity obviously is being redefined on TV now. When it comes to villains, we've had two sets of villains. The villainous villains, where you have people saying, Sara Sher, Mujhe Loyan ke naam se janda hai. Very proudly saying that Lion me Loyan. Then you have Shakal, you obviously have this guy, and I've obviously taken that gif. Because he still appears scary with the, in that gif. And then you have the sidey heroes and the henchmen. You have your foreign quota. Every film, you had these foreign You had your Amit Shah's to Modi's, Chamcha quotas. And you had your creep Max quotas, which is Ranjit Hai. And... Uh, yeah. Rachri films, Suraj Barjati and the Barjatiya family. I think Suraj Barjatiya as a, as a kid wanted to be a wedding planner. His parents did not allow him because that time the industry wasn't so evolved. I think he entered the film industry incorrectly but he's still living his dream because there's a wedding in all his films. There's a wedding, he's a wedding photographer. What happens after a wedding? Sex! This is how sex was depicted in Bollywood earlier. Flask blo uh, booming, you had these jewellery pieces being removed, you had that hot glass of milk, then slightly the people going, I mean the couple going behind trees or behind flowers. Since the activity has happened, obviously you feel like dancing because you achieved something. So you have the good famous dance steps, you have the funny ones, you have Sunny Deol, and Govinda has to be there when you talk about dancing in Bollywood. <coughs> oh, so like buddy me a choting, I was wondering. And then now on, this is like a serious slide, even though it has all the comedians. I think now suddenly there are no good comedians in Bollywood. You have your comedians coming in for one or two films, but that continuous stream of comedy that Johnny Walker, Mahmood, or even Manorma and Tundun brought in in those old old films, that was just brilliant. And this is a dialogue from John Lever's film. And the Khan Fad writing. So in Koila, there's this, uh, Kalia, there's this dialogue where he says, Sach ke bazaar mein jhoot ke sikke se kuchhi der chalte. And suddenly the topic changes, there's no relation to the dialogue. <laughs> and I think now there are no such dialogues. Like I can't think of a single dialogue from the last three years that I still remember. The last one was Salman Khan's commitment. Do you know what this is? <laughs> this is separation. Because earlier in all the films, the siblings or the friends got separated at the Kumbh Mela. In fact, there was an article last year where they said, Ke no more separation at Kumbh Mela, UP police is doing a very good job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So the melodrama, the quintessential Indian mother, this, you have this, you have this, you have this, you have this, you have, that means five hours are over. Because these are there in the film, that means it's a five hour long film and they're going to be crying, they're going to be serving maake, hot food, they're going to be concerned, concerned about kab soya, kab aya, Ramse Brothers. I think Ramse Brothers has redefined this guy. In all the films, he's there as the demon, he's there as this Haveli ka rakhwala and suddenly he turns into a monster overnight. And Ramse brother, Brothers, you should watch their films, they're hilarious. Do you know who this guy is? Yeah. Or what he tries yeah. to, like metaphorically who he is? He's the guy who in every film comes back from America to marry the family friend's daughter. But obviously that never happens. <laughs> <laughs> this has happened in Chodi number one. It's happened in Karan Arjun. It's happened in uh, Kuwara itself. And then you have your crazy vamps from the past. Manorma, though a comedian, was also a vamp in most films. And you have uh, Sita or Gita, Chandas, and I think uh, like this is unfair on Karishwa Kapoor, but you never know. Yeah. <laughs>
So there's this thing called Takiya Kalam which I recently got introduced to. So Takiya Kalam basically is that one word or phrase that you use a lot. So you had your Khamu, Babu Mushai, Mugambo Khushua, Jakas, Jani. I think suddenly no one uses these things. I can't relate to a word with Shah Khan except Kiran. There's nothing new that he said, nothing with Salman. A lot with Akshay Kumar because he's Akshay Kumar. But yeah. Uh, this is the Guwari Ben. Like, for some reason, in all the 70s and 80s film, there was this one Ben in the film who wanted to get married, and the guy had to earn money so that his sister could get married and die. It eventually happened. That's why you never saw them on the posters. You know what's this? Years are advancing. Time lapse in old films. They'll say that what will happen in seven years? The guy is either running, cycle ke wheels turn, or chutkiya, and the time just advances to like 10 15 years. And finally, I just realized that like, one of my favorite actors, Akshay Kumar, I hadn't given him enough importance, so I decided to put him after this slide. <laughs> this is the thing that, this is the thing that I miss the most. I miss Govinda the most. His dressing style, his dance steps, his swag, I think it's unmatched. No one can match it. Uh, like people say, Varun Dhawan is like the next Govinda. I don't think that's ever going to happen. And finally, like Akshay Kumar saying thank you on my behalf. And that's available, I think, from some film. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you.